So welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you me picking up two cars from Copart. Uh, you'll show me bidding on both of them. Um, I'll show you like, a little walk around the car. There's also another Fiat 500 that I will be showing you in this video as well. I didn't get any footage of that because uh, my dad and stepmom went and picked it up. But there will be plenty of content in this video. I have my, You might be wondering why I actually am sat in the back of this car. And it's because I have literally just taken the seats out of it. To give it a proper good valet, um, so it's nice and ready for the new customer. Um, I'll take the front seats out, I'm going to give them a, a wipe with an interior polish I've got just to really bring them back to life. But yeah, I think that's that's pretty much everything in this video. Um, I've got a repair coming up on a Ford KA. Um, what else is there? I'll, there'll be a couple more videos of me picking up some more cars, but apart from that, that's going to be all. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Right, okay, guys, so it's Boxing Day. And uh, I found a Fiat 500 that. I think it's right. Look how bits in it. Let's see if we can win it. It's getting on a bit now, isn't it? Go for your bonus time. It's definitely one of my. Oh, that's definitely my last bid. Won it. Not a lot of damage to it. It's being sold by an insurance company, it's got stuff on that back bumper there. Run and drive. Both keys of it. 63,000 miles, quite a high spec one. It's got the alloys, panoramic roof, aircon, etc. etc. But the next car we're going to be going for now as well is. Wait for it to load. It's this one. Door, wing, 35,000 miles. <laughs> See what it makes. Right, okay, so it is the 28th of December, and you would have already seen me bidding on the car. Um, so we're just picking up one of them now. We're picking up the Fiat 500, we literally just pulled into Coke Park. And, uh, well, it didn't really look like it had much damage on it, did it? But it was. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's probably. I don't know, it's probably a. I don't know. Probably the most wariest I've been picking a car up, but hopefully it'll be alright. But yeah, it was being sold by an insurance company, so I don't know my normal checks I do, but we're literally just pulling it down, so I need to check in on the transportation out. You can really see it from the photos, but like, the grid quarter is in a little bit. There was a bit of damage to it. Let's have a look around it, see if we see a bit of damage. Is there any damage on this side? It's a bit of All four tyres look like they've actually been changed recently. This wasn't a load of tread in that one. A load of tread in that one. I don't know, I'm getting it. Huh? Is it 
Vi kan lige Right, so I'm definitely going to need to buy some mats for it, and it's going to definitely need a good hoover out. It's done 63,000 miles. Panoramic roof. Oh, it's got both kits. No, it was only advertised with one kit. No, I saw the two kits. How many miles is that? Aircon, 63,000. Aircon, city steering. Right, oh, there we go, service history, hopefully. Let's have a look. I'll take all this stuff, there you go, it's got a book pack. That service thing is in there. I'll take all this stuff in the van and we'll have a look at it in the van. Because we've got to get back and pick up another one, but overall, oh, it's always starting to move. Overall, it is actually all right. Let's have a look at anything here. Lock and wheel nut key in there. Right. Okay. Take that off. Got the key. Let's go. So, well, as you would have seen me already loading it off the truck. So, as you see that dent there, it's just, it's just around there. But it's not the end of the world at all. Let's have a look underneath it on it. Oh, and I did look inside as well, and it has got full service history up to 60,000 miles. So, it was last service 3,000 miles ago, so that's good. Um, it had all of its original. Like inspection sheets and all the stuff like that. That box there. Yeah. Yeah. Got to put inside inside the works. I can leave it there. We're going to go back, pick up another Polo. And then yeah, but actually I bought a Red Fit 500 that I don't think I've actually shown you guys yet. I didn't go actually go to pick it up. Uh, my dad and my stepmom went and picked it up. So uh, I won't have a video for that, but as I'm backing this in, I will, I'll show you around that. Right, okay, so this is the other car that I was talking about. It's a Fit 500 as well. It's also another high spec. It's got, but. Yeah. So this is the other Fiat 500 that I was telling you about. It's again quite high spec, aircon, panoramic roof. 
panoramic roof, some 43,000 miles, and that is all the damage there. This will be a wing, that bumper, somewhere out of butter, I might have to paint that corner if we have something into the world. Headlight is cracked slightly there, so I'll we'll have to get a new headlight for that. But yeah, alloys. Did this come with one key or both keys? What? Did this come with one key or both keys? No, one. Just one. one. I mean, it's got all these mats in it. This had all the book pack in it and stuff like that as well, didn't it? This had all the services in it. So to be honest, they're both, they both actually feel quite alright actually, didn't they? What's that there, screw there for? It's got your, uh, oh, what's that cigarette lighter for? Just looks like someone's just left all that stuff in it. But it's got all the mats of it. It's a real nice car actually. It's got um, reversing, not reversing, sorry, um, da dash cam, and it's actually got a camera in the back of it as well there. So, yeah, you think he's going to get a bit of the sucker and try and give it a pull. But yeah, considering what they both are, they're both actually exactly the same model, exactly the same spec. This one's done 43,000 miles, that one's done 63,000 miles. I've got, uh, I haven't got both keys of that one, but I've got both keys of that one. They've all got their book pack service history of them. So yeah, and they're both actually quite minimal damage. So I just need to send off for the logbooks, but we're just about to go and pick up the polo now, so I'll see you there.
Okay, right, so it's literally just been loaded. It is dark tent by, I bought my uh, little uh, light flashlight this time. But going around on it, it don't actually look to be that many marks or dinks. I can see there's a couple of scratches here that'll buff out easy. Um, what do you think looks all right actually, especially for the age of it. Obviously we might need to get some hard caps. They might actually be in the car. But, yeah, it looks all right. Obviously, that's what the damage is there. It's hitting that bit on the wing there. To be fair, that'll probably straighten out. That'll probably straighten out and that'll probably take it off. But I'll take it back to the workshop and have a proper look at it. But I'm going to start it up. See what it sounds like. Yeah, I can have a look. Yeah, that's just a no, no service history or anything like that. Have a look in the back. Looks quite clean actually. Looks very clean. It's got a it's got a, a added stereo onto it. That's looks like is that Bluetooth? I think it's Bluetooth. Make sure it's out of gear. Just got the one key with this one. I can't hear anything immediate. I sound wrong a bit. It sounds alright. I'm going to take it home and have a proper look at it, but it is getting dark and it is getting late. So let's get back in the truck. Oh, I have to have the central lock in. In the world. Right. I'll take some more photos and then go for more. Hello, so it is the 2nd of January and we are back, basically back working now. We bought a car today from Rochford. It was a Corsa, done 22,000 miles, one owner, both keys. But I'm just unloading the Polo now. I've been sat the truck for a while over New Year's. I've been out partying. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I've already shown you guys all through this one, started it up here. But yeah, I'm just going to unload it now, and then tomorrow, well, yeah, tomorrow actually, yeah, tomorrow we'll be picking up the car I bought today. So, without further ado, I'll get on with the video.
so I've literally just unloaded it, you'll see me. I didn't actually mean to drive it um, with the uh, camera on the roof, I completely forgot about it, but yes, I'm going to put it into the garden and that's basically where it's going to stay, stay really until I've got the logbook. There's not a lot of damage on this one, so as soon as I get the logbook, it'll be fixed within, hopefully, fingers crossed, a day. So, just... I'm not pretty sure, but no, no service for with this one. It's the end of the world. We have been quite lucky recently, so. I will not moan, definitely not. But yeah, it's going to be the end of this video. Um, I will, like I've already said in my, my previous video, I will definitely be more um, frequently uploading. Um, there's a lot more. I put all the cars today, so obviously there'll be a, a video of me picking that up. I didn't get anything of me bidding on it because I was driving at the time. So uh, my dad was bidding next to me. So I won't have much of that. But I've got a repair on a Ford KA coming up soon. That's quite a good repair. And then yeah, we'll go from there. But thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.